YouTube, it's your main man, Boyce Life, coming at you with another fucking video. It is a hot one down here in San Antonio, Texas today, my friends. But anyway, that's not what I'm coming to you to talk about. I'm talking to you about Ezekiel Elliott. There are confirmed pictures and reports that Ezekiel Elliott last night was on a plane from Cabo to, to Dallas, Texas. Now, what does this mean? It could mean absolutely shit. It could mean absolutely nothing. Why? Because he fucking lives in Dallas. He lives in Dallas and he could just be going home and say, you know what? I've trained. I've done what I need to do. I look awesome. It could also mean, hey, you know, like Jerry and Steven have said, we'll more likely get these deals done when, when we come back from Hawaii. So maybe, maybe Jerry got on the phone and was like, look, Z, we're going to get this shit done. I need you home when we get back. You know, I'm a, you know, we'll, we'll get this job done. We'll, we'll get this deal done when you get, when, when we get back. So I need you there coming to the office Monday morning. That's what it could mean. That's what it could mean. But like I said, it could mean absolutely nothing. It could mean he's going home, getting some clothes, you know, getting ready to go park, <coughs> getting ready to go train somewhere else or to go party. We don't know because you never know with this guy. And I'm not throwing shade at him. I'm just saying we just never know. But when it comes to football season, we already know that when it's football time, he's pretty serious. You know, um, the past couple of years, he's put on some weight, you know, up from his rookie season. You know, the rookie season, you saw the fucking six pack and the abs. And, and the past, you know, couple years, you've seen a little bit of flab with the ab, you know. Like you've seen, you, you see the lines of the ab, but you also see the flab right over the ab, you know. So, but with him, being serious this year, it seems like he's cut down a lot of weight. He looks like he's he's apparently he's he's lighter than what he was his rookie season. You know, he's below the 220s. He's more muscular, and hopefully he can just hit the ground running, like Jerry said. Um, um, so we're he's excited. We're excited. Everybody's happy, and it just cracks me up because I know the Eagle fans out there are worried. They're worried because they're looking and seeing that these deals are possibly gonna get done. And if they do get done, they know they're gonna be worried. And my favorite meme of all time, right now, so far, is the Dak Prescott GoFundMe account for the 40 mil that Dak Prescott um, apparently said he wanted, even though it wasn't him that said it. Because his, his camp, his agent, and himself have denied, I didn't ask for 40 mil. You know, it was probably a tactic by the Cowboys to get that 40 mil out there. So, you know, so that way, uh, the, so that way Dak Prescott can feel pressured into signing that 30 mil a year contract. So it is what it is. But my favorite is that. Why? Why is that my favorite? Because Eagle fans, do you not remember? Do you forget that the last time Dak Prescott played the Philadelphia Eagles, he had over 455 yards passing and in the fourth quarter alone had three touchdown passes i mean if that's what you want to go up against by all means do the gofundme account that was my favorite meme that had me cracking up so much because i was like do these eagle did these eagle fans forget about what happened but you know it is what it is after we swept them you know what i mean like <laughs> it just cracks me up but anyway you know these deals are gonna get done it's gonna happen you know Zeke's on his way back, like I said, and uh, it's just, it's a great day. To, I, I love being a cowboy. I love being a cowboy fan. And I got another video coming probably tomorrow. I'm um, going to do some editing and, and whatnot, but uh, but uh, it's the Josh McCown, McCown, right? That's how you say his last name. Uh, Eagles pick up and how they think he's such a great backup quarterback you know hey man if you want to have that one touchdown and the four interceptions from last season by all means go ahead sign him up write his check and uh if something happens to Carson Wentz your season's still over but that's all I got for right now I'm out peace